His co-workers still don't want to look at what Ron Moray found in the bottom of his takeout coffee. Moray says he picked up the coffee from McDonald's on his way into work on Monday. He sipped it contentedly all day, and then... I always take the lid off to take my last gulp of coffee. And when I took the lid off, there was a little bit of surprise in my coffee cup. It was a dead mouse. Oh my God, there's a mouse in my coffee, is what he says. And I'm like, the first two times I looked, I had to actually look. And I'm like, no, it's real. He's not joking. Like, is he okay? And then, and then after that, I got a little green to the gills. <laughs> One of them had a reaction of like, I kind of had a little queasiness in my stomach, and the other one thought I was actually pulling a joke. Unless I had been there and watched Ron drink that whole coffee down to that last drop, I would have I would have been like, you're lying. I would have just said, you, you're lying through your teeth, and, and it's not possible. And there was also a few little, shall we say, presents that the mouse had dropped in the cup as well. He called the McDonald's customer service line. They have yet to connect with him. What do you want from McDonald's? I'd like to know how the mouse got in the cup of coffee. And an assurance that this won't happen to anybody else. A New Brunswick Department of Health food inspector examined the Fredericton restaurant and cleared it. No violations, no pests. McDonald's says it brought in an independent pest control company and it didn't find any pest issues either. McDonald's says it does want to analyze the mouse and it cautions against anyone jumping to conclusions. Moray is philosophical about the incident. Hey, I mean, hey, you know, I'm here. I'm in better shape than the mouse. But from now on, he'll take his coffee from home. Catherine Harrop, CBC News, Fredericton.